This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by the Spice and Tea Exchange. You're watching Delmarva Life and Labor Day is this weekend and we are about to level up our barbecue game. And to do that, we're here at the Spice and Tea Exchange in Rehoboth Beach and Joy Quinn is going to show us how it's done. And Joy, the thing about this is anybody can really do it. It's simple. Anybody can do it. So um, everybody wants to have a good time and they want to have fun, but they want a lot of flavor. Yeah. So what we're going to show you is to take things you have around the house and just amp them up with some of our special ingredients and you'll be an amazing gourmet, but you'll still be able to kick up your feet and enjoy a beer and a burger with your friends. Love it. So we're starting here with some fancy ketchup options. So here. what we have here is just uh, some Thrasher's fries, any way you want it. We have some amazing cheese powders that you can mm -hmm. sprinkle on the cheese as well as the black truffle salt. Mm -hmm. We also have a black truffle garlic that's amazing. This is unbelievable. You can't believe how easy it is to just make your homemade or store-bought ketchup to the next level. Here we have it with some um, Ginger teriyaki, some cinnabar smoke, smoked barbecue, tandoori blend, which is an amazing one, and then the Korean barbecue. I gotta get in here, here, Joy. Um, I'm gonna try the, you said the tandoori one is. The tandoori one is really phenomenal. And a thrasher's fry, I mean. Tandoori is the blend that makes the yellow chicken when you grill it, oh, yet wow. in that ketchup, it really gives it an amazing depth. Totally. A little, little, little spice behind it, maybe? A little spice, for mm. sure. The okay. other thing that people Incredible. like to do on um, barbecue days are wings. And I didn't make any wings today, but the recipes I sent that you'll post on the website mm -hmm. have about six, do uh, six half dozen mm -hmm. different wing recipes, which wow. are really amazing, really easy. Just take your wings, base them in a little olive oil in our blend, gives amazing flavor. Perfect. But you did do kebabs. a different kind of chicken today. Sure. Mm -hmm. We love chicken kebabs and uh, shrimp kebabs. We have a great Jamaican shrimp kebab recipe. This, it couldn't be any easier. Red onion chicken marinated in our leek olive oil and our coastal mm. blend. Then you can serve it. You can do it on the grill or uh, roast it in the oven. Then you can serve it with a sauce. Here we have just sour cream mixed with our coastal blend or a two second um, tzatziki. Okay. We have um, cucumber marinated in lemon juice. You're going to put a couple tablespoons, one tablespoon of our tzatziki blend, which is relatively right. new this year. Ooh, I love tzatziki. Such a unique flavor. You said two tablespoons? Uh, yeah, let's try one tablespoon. So one, okay. You can do one to two. It's, okay. Everything is to taste. Okay. So dump Oops. that in there. Right here? Yep. Okay. And then Bam. take a couple tablespoons of the sour cream. Now, I'm a big sour cream fan. Oh, sorry. This so. is actually Greek oh. yogurt. So Greek sour yogurt, yeah. cream or Greek yogurt. Okay. I'm going to help you yeah. out here. Yeah, Joy, yeah. Since I have some gloves on here, I'm just going to Oh, you're just going to mash oh, it in. I love that. I love that. Okay, now just mix it up. Okay. Mix it up with the yeah, just mix it with this here. And so you can try the chicken and dip yeah. it in either. But that's really as easy as it gets. Okay. So I just grab a cloth. Well, I have a loose one here. Oh for yeah, loose. You. Oh, look at you. It's a little fork. Perfect. Oops. Okay. Grab a little. Oh, give myself a little tzatziki. Oh, I love that flavor. It's so good. What is the flavor of tzatziki? Like, what is, it's so great. Well, the cucumber and the lemon juice do a mm. lot. And I'm then, definitely getting the lemon, I uh, love that. Garlic and mm -hmm. onion, uh, dill weed, vinegar powder, mm. uh, white pepper. Um, all the things. All the things that you need. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot going on there. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. segue in from the kebabs into the burgers. Again, super simple. You have ground beef. Some people are used to doing the, their onion soup mix. Yep. Here I take two tablespoons of any blend that you like mm -hmm. with one and a half pounds of ground beef. So here we're using our Bloody Mary mix, which Ooh. makes a great drink. It makes a great burger. Okay. We also have a cinnabar smoke, which is smoked with a little bit of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. And then we've topped the burger or the bun with melted butter and a little onion obsession, some Swiss cheese and caramelized onion. Here we have a pizza burger, which my kids love, just oh. the ground beef with our pizza seasoning, a little sauce, melted cheese and pepperoni, and then umami. Umami is a Japanese word for savory. Mm -hmm. We have the umami blended in the burger and in the mayo and topped with a little roasted red pepper. Wow. And for the non-burger vegans out there, we mm -hmm. have a very special vegan black bean beetroot burger. 
And so it's black beans, rice, garlic, onion, and beetroot powder sauteed up and uh, it's hot to go if you'd like to try. I definitely want to try. It's such a pretty color too. You know? Color and health. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to put in here. And so with the recipe that I have online, we have an avocado mash to put on top. Here, um, I cheated a little again and just That's have a good. slice of avocado with some chipotle lime sea salt and Should some I put lemon this over juice. here? Yeah, and just, just take a little bite. And just go for it. Ooh, fun. Here we go. Mmm! That is very fun. I like the beet powder. Yeah, the beet powder gives mm -hmm. it a little bit of flavor, a little bit of color. Mm. It gives it um, just mm -hmm. a little bit of depth beyond the black beans. Yeah. And then again, for any of these, you know, you want to do, if it's as simple as making a fancy mayo, mm -hmm. you know, we have a, a ton of things that could go in. This is a garlic aioli. This is great, you know, when you go into a fancy restaurant and they have that little swash yeah. on top. This is exactly what it is. And so I put it on chicken all the time, put it on burgers. If you like a little heat, we have this great um, sriracha sauce powder. Mm -hmm. So you can mix it in the mayo when you're doing a burger with a little heat, some peppers. Uh, caramelized onions always works well with stuff like that. But again, anything you have in here, you know, I could just make a variety pack yeah. on the table without that much work. Totally, I just love it. It's something I probably wouldn't think of so much, that, that just a bit of spice can do so much. Right. Wow, okay, this is awesome. We still gotta wash this down though, Joyce. That's so, right. We're gonna take a quick break when we come back. We're talking tea. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, Del Marvel Life, we'll be right back. This segment of Del Marvel Life is brought to you by the Spice and Tea Exchange. You're watching Del Marvel Life, and we are continuing to level up your Labor Day. Now, before the break, we took care of the spice part. Joyce showed us some awesome burger recipes, ketchup, tzatziki, and now, Joy, you guys are obviously the Spice and Tea Exchange, so we gotta talk tea. We gotta talk tea. So Tea is becoming more and more popular every year. Our teas are phenomenal hot or cold. Mm -hmm. uh, one of our most popular teas is the Mango Tango. We go through Ooh. this at all of our stores super fast. My neighbor loves to have a hot cup of Mango Tango with a little Irish mist after dinner. Ooh. Today we're gonna do a Mango Tango based cocktail. It's our version of the Tropical Bay Breeze. Okay. And so that's going to be uh, uh, steeped hibiscus and the mango tango tea with a little pineapple, a little mango tango uh, simple syrup with our mango sugar and some lime juice. I'll pour that. it right here. Now, if you want to be fancy okay. and do a little um, kick it up with a little alcohol, mm -hmm. you can see on the end there, I have some vodka mm -hmm. in which we're infusing some mango tango tea as well. Wow. So that would be a little special ingredient, but right now we have the non-alcoholic version. Uh, before I even taste it, let's talk about that color. Yeah, that because color is from the hibiscus. That is beautiful. As well as from the mango pieces that are in the tea. Okay, this seems like totally refreshing. And I like that it's tropical vibes because even though it's Labor Day, we can still have a little bit That's of summer right, going on. a little on. more fun yeah. till the end of summer. Ooh, I feel like 12 flavors just hit me all at once. Right, right. That's that's really the beauty of that tea. Yeah, I really like that. I think the hibiscus is so nice. Mm -hmm. When I get the, the mix with the pineapple. And it's great. It's a great healthy drink too. The hibiscus getting some more of that into your system is great. Yeah, it smells nice. Wow. Uh, the teas that we have, a lot of our fruit infused teas, uh, white teas, green teas make a great non-sugar base to a lot of different summer martinis as well. And then if you want to sweeten it up, you could do a simple syrup, whether it's with sugar or our uh, non-calorie, non-sugar monk fruit. Another great option, certainly want to rim your glass too with some of our great sugars, blueberry, uh, red raspberry, wow. lemon, ginger, etc. I totally love the flavor of this. Well, the next oh. thing that couldn't be easier okay. is an Arnold Palmer, but an oh. Arnold Palmer kicked up. We have equal parts blueberry black tea and lemonade so that's all you're doing to bring this together and then you can have a little bit of a simple syrup or honey yeah let me mix that up for you maybe try not to be so sloppy at home hey it's all good you know it's your space you know there you go try that i love that the way the blueberry plays with the lemon super refreshing whoa i really like that because I feel like it's not typically 
blueberry when you think of it. Right, and my kids love playing around with the herbal teas mm -hmm. because then they feel like they're making some fancy drinks for mom and for themselves. Wow. And uh, you know, again, you control the sugar, which is good for you and for your kids. Wow, these are so fun, Joy. I could see vibing with either of these for Labor Day. We'll take them home. Wow, these are a good time. And hey, if you try these, let us know which one you like better. You know, right? I have um, in the links that I gave you again a couple of more uh, tea-based cocktails mm -hmm. and mocktails. And then certainly, if you visit the SpiceandTea.com website, we yep. have a whole range of any kind of recipe. Just search it in the cue bar, and you'll find a lot of different things you can experiment with. Ooh, experiment sounds fun. Uh, Joy, tell me this: What are you doing for Labor Day? Labor Day, I have three kids under eight, so we're gonna be doing some family fun at the lake, trying to get my kids uh, on the ski trainer to start to water ski. Ooh. And then certainly doing a lot of grilling, and we like to do homemade pizzas with a lot of different spices. Oh, that's gonna be a good time. I'll be there, make sure about it. <laughs> right. Joy, thank you so much for showing us both the spices and the teas to make Labor Day absolutely Thanks perfect. for coming. All right, make sure we check our website for all those recipes. Don't worry, life will be right back.